Hi everyone, I'm Frida and I'm back with another video. In this one I'm going to show you how I made this cloisonne enamel bee pendant. It's made out of copper and I also used copper wires. Stay until the end of the video if you want to learn about how to use copper wires in enameling. The first step was of course cutting out the shape with my saw. I decided to dome the body of the bee to make it more three-dimensional. I used my yoga mat to do that. I decided to texturize the wings, which ended up being a pointless step because I've chosen opalescent white for the wings and the texture didn't show through the white at the end. I cleaned the surface and I applied the clear fuse on the back first. I fired it with my torch and the important thing here that you have to wait until the oxides are dissolving in the clear fuse. You can see that because it's becoming a nice and gold color. Oxides developed on the other side of the copper, so you definitely have to pickle it between firings. I applied the clear fuse on the other side of camera. Actually, the first step of this process, it's not the sawing, as I said before, but you have to draw your design and you have to design your wires in a way that they're not gonna fall over in the kiln or when you fire it with a torch. For example, those lines on the body of the bee are pretty straight, so I decided to fold uh, two lines out of one wire. I'm going to cut off those overhung pieces later. Cloisonne wires are flat wires, and I rolled them in my rolling mill previously. I decided to put the wires straight on the pendant as I was folding them. Uh, you can put the wires on a tape and do this step later. I used glue to hold them in place until the next firing. I used tweezers and pliers to fold them. I'm firing this with my torch and during firing the base coat is going to melt so the wire is going to get stuck in the base coat. They're going to stay put when we do the first wet packing. You can see that oxides developed on the copper wires. It's really easy to remove the oxides, you just have to put it in pickle and wait a few minutes. I like to use a toothbrush to help me to clean the oxides off. Here I'm making a huge mistake cutting those wires off. I'm going to explain it later why. The next step is to do the first wet packing. I'm using a paintbrush and a little scraper to do that. Enamel is basically crushed glass and I apply it wet and the consistency of it reminds me of wet sand. I put the enamel in between the wires and water helps me carry the enamel particles in the corner of the little cells. So lots of water is really helpful. It's a bee, so I've chosen nice contrasting colors like yellow, brown, black and white and a little bit of blue on the wings. Very important to wait with the firing until the enamel is dry. Here I was firing it with my torch and I couldn't see at that time, but something was happening, which meant my piece got ruined. As I was firing it and the enamel melted, those wires on the body still fell over and melted into the enamel. I remade the whole piece off camera and this time I didn't cut off those overhung pieces to make sure it's not gonna happen again. Here I'm doing the second wet packing on the new piece. We have to do the wet packing more than once because enamel shrinks with every firing. I fired it again and I did the third layer of enamel off camera. You can see I'm cutting off those overhung pieces at the very end this time. I've learned enameling 20 something years ago and these silly mistakes are still happening to me. I have a whole jar of ruined pieces which my daughter collects. We arrived to the last step of this process which is the sanding. I use diamond pads for this and a lots of water. We make the surface nice and smooth and also expose the wires. Enamel loses its shine during the sanding process so we have to do one last firing to get the glossiness back. I like to pickle it one more time too, to remove the oxides from the wires. And here it is, I like how it turned out, I really like the wings. I put it in a setting, I cut out some shapes 
from the setting at the back and beat up the surface to make it more rugged. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!